Hi guys, today we are discussing another viral disease of large animals and small ruminants, which is mainly present in India, Asia, Africa, and Sub Saharan countries. It's blue tongue. Introduction It's an infectious arthropod borne viral disease of cattle, sheep, and goats. Although sheep are mostly affected, Cattle is the main epidemiological agent and main mammal reservoir of this virus. The synonyms are sore muzzle, it is actually due to the problems happening in the muzzle. And the dancing disease, that is actually due to the corona infect, coronitis infection. The gluten virus is notifiable disease in many countries, that is OIE notifiable. This is actually arthropod board disease because this is carried and transmitted by the infect vectors. That is the colicoid species. Etiology is the Rio Verde. You all know that Rio means respiratory enteric orphan. That is, they are mainly acting in respiratory system and enteric system. Orbivirus genus, that is, they are mainly attacking the orbit. Orbi means the stoma region. And the species blue tongue virus. Genome consists of double stranded RNA divided into 10 to 12 segments. Number of segments for blue tongue virus was asked in many entrance examination it's 10 to 12 and this is the actual reason behind their genetic reassortment and arrival of different strains that is due to genetic reassortment cytoplasma replication the formation of large intracytoplasmic perinuclear inclusion bodies this was also asked in previous exam intracytoplasmic perinuclear inclusion body susceptible host Humans are not affected, so there is no zoonotic problems. Transmission is non-contagious. Transplantal transmission occurs in sheep. Okay, Culicoides. Culicoides is the main biting midges. Actually, they are the main carriers of biological vector. So, Culicoides species usually feed at dawn and dusk, and they require standing water in which to live. So, the sheep and goat are not allowed to graze or browse in the dawn and dusk so that they will not be getting a bite from the colicoid stick incubation period is 6 to 10 days morbidity is up to 80 percentage and mortality is up to 50 percentage this is very important pathogenesis through the biting of colicoid stick the virus gain access into the blood uh, subcutaneous tissue then to the blood vessels they multiply in the endothelial cells and wbc so let us uh, think about endothelium in the mind both layer we have endothelial cells they will be settling into an endothelial cell and multiplying inside the endothelial cell so there is a layer of endothelial cells right whenever an endothelial cell break there is a gap in the vessel so what happens protein rich fluid from the blood oozes out through the gap so it leads to edema and the rbc oozes out so it leads to hemorrhage then what happens there is a gap so someone has to seal so the platelets will come and seal the broken area. So there is a thrombosis happening because thrombin factors get activated and they seal the area. Whenever it is very large breakings, this will lead to infarction in the heart. Whenever this happens in the heart vessels, that can lead to myocardiac infarction. And disseminated intravascular coagulation is the main feature, though I missed here it. I missed the word DIC. I'm sorry for that. DIC disseminated intravascular coagulation that is it is not continuous coagulation this is disseminated at one area then it will be happening at a farther area so intravascular that is inside the vessel coagulation is happening which is disseminated that is uncontinuous clinical signs moving to fever ulcerated mouth cyanosis of tongue that is mainly the reason for calling blue tongue profuse salivation and frothing and nasal discharge Actually, that is due to the RP virus attack. They will be mainly attacking the mouth area. First will be serous, then it will be the discharge will be mucus, and it will later will become mucopurulent activity due to the activity of the polymorphonuclear leukocytes. Coronitis and laminitis resulting in lameness and recumbency. That is why they are called dancing disease. Cyanosis tongue is the reason for blue tongue. CNS manifestation is present, and there are many malformations in the CNS. That is hydranencephaly, coronencephaly. This darkly congested gingiva, coronitis, hyperemia of the corona, you can see corona region, hyperemia. This is the petechia, food coronitis, ulceration necrosis of teeth, coronary band lesions, 
this is ulcerative dermatitis which is a main very important problem is also. macroscopic lesions this is brain vasculitis and hemorrhages intimal hemorrhage on pulmonary artery this is a very important lesion present in blue tongue that is subindimal hemorrhage or intimal hemorrhage on pulmonary artery local hemorrhage on pulmonary artery hemorrhages on the pulmonary artery is very important lesion for sometimes it can be termed as the pneumonic lesion for blue tongue this is hydrocephalus aspiration pneumonia and there are many focal lesions focal necrosis globular lesions this is intracytoplasmic inclusion body in the epithelial cells of mouth. Intracytoplasmic inclusion body. Skeletal cell necrosis. To diagnosis, virus isolation, antigen and nucleic acid detection, seroconversion. So, blue tongue is a notifiable disease. Sheep should be put in barns at dusk because actually this time colicoidus comes. Vaccination are present in many, stay in many countries and is according to the serotype. Vaccines are not used in actually pregnant animals. They create many problems. These are the blue tongue vaccines. Zero type of blue tongue. Uh, this is having a very big problem because in some journals it is said that it is having 34 serotypes, but still some journals it is mentioned that it has 26. And 29 actually got it from a relevant book which is veterinary virology book. So I have included the number as 29. And immunity is serotype specific. That is the main problem because uh, serotypes are daily emerging. So whenever they get recognized by the vaccination, they emerge and they will they happens to be a part of evolution. Thank you.